All right, what's up, my friends? Welcome back. We're here on our quest to make Venerated Loxodon go nuts in modern. This card's really, really good. Um, it's very, very good in modern because this card gets better the better the cheap creatures in the format are. And it's already good in standard. But in modern, we have free cheap creatures. So we've played three versions of his deck so far. This is a third. And let's call them version A, B, and C. It's not like it's one, you know, version 1 and version 2. because They're not updates. They're all slightly different decks. So the first one was a beatdown deck. Um, it looks somewhat similar to this. We changed it a bit. But um, if you missed that once on YouTube, you check the video out. You know, Legion's Landing, more of a beatdown thing. Went 3 and 2. actually liked it a lot. Second version is based on Chalice of the Void. That's this version here. Um, also went 3-2. A much softer 3-2, though. Uh, not really too impressed. Chalice was kind of medium. Missed that one. It's also on YouTube. This time we're trying out a card that I've played before. Um, Quest for the Holy Relic. And uh, this one's kind of wild. So this is a one-man enchantment. One of you cast a creature spell, you put a counter on it. When there are five counters on it, you can sacrifice it to find an equipment in your deck and equip it immediately. So, are we getting Sword of Fire Nice? Are we getting... No, we're getting Argentum Armor. Six mana, six to equip, plus six, plus six. Whenever it attacks, you Vindicate something. Pretty good. And this deck can Vindicate on turn two. You know, if our hand is just Planes, Quest, and five Mem Knights, then on turn two, we'll be attacking with the Argentum Armor. So, that can't be your only plan, though, because if you don't draw the Quest, we have a bunch of small creatures, we just die, right? So that's where Venerated Loxodon comes in. Um, the Loxodon can pump all our creatures up. We've seen in the last few leagues with this deck, this card's the real deal. Um, because pumping up your, your small creatures and then leaving a 4-4 four -four in play that is immune to Lightning Bolt, Anger of the Gods, Fatal Push, etc. Makes them deal with the small creatures. You still have a 4-4. Four -four. It's nice. It's nice. So, but this one's obviously a little more all-in. All the usual stuff. Mem Knight, Mox Opal, Ornithopter... For Glintock, this is two creatures for one mana. For the quest, it's also a 2-2 flyer for one, which is pretty good. Uh, Inspector is an extra artifact. It's also a clue, so we fly a little bit. And, uh, of course, Signal Pest. Also playing Thalia as a little bit of interaction. Um, a little awkward Mishra's Bobble, but still a very solid card. A very good locks it on, too. So, would Batter Skull be better? No, I think I'd rather attack for seven and kill their lands, you know? Um, Batter Skull's cool, but it, this is the kind of card where the, f the floor is so low, the ceiling has to be through the roof, and attacking with an, an 8-8 on turn 2 that kills their land is a very, very high ceiling, so, Glintalk also very nice with Loxodon too, so, Cyborg's got the usual stuff in it, let's jump right in, I'm pretty pumped for this one, that was our last match, if you missed it, we were playing Lox Affinity, Quest. I know Vault Scourge. Nah. Vault Scourge is fine. I could. I mean, like, there's nothing else pumping it. I'm not sure what you would play Vault like Vault Scourge over. If you wanted any more all in, you could play Vault Scourge over the Thalias. Um, but I wanted like a little bit of interaction, you know. So, we'll try it like this. You know, again, these are all these are all first drafts. Last night I was hanging out for an hour or so, kind of brainstorming and building these decks. And uh, we've been loading on the fly. We learned very fast that canopy is a must, and we're kind of adjusting and tweaking as we go. I always say that the best thing you can do in brewing is just to build your deck and play. I don't care how wrong it is. You learn a lot more from playing than you just just sitting there thinking about it. So we'll play. We'll see how it goes, and we'll rock it. Someone asked about Squadron Hawk. Uh, my card is way too slow. Okay, this hand's really weird. Uh, yes, I brewed, I brewed all these decks, yes. We have turn one Thalia, but that means you can't play a quest. And we have no other creatures. And two quests is also very redundant. Um, well, the bobble's good in this hand because we have turn one Thalia. We wouldn't have turn one Thalia without, without, without the bobble. But at the same time, we can't... We want to play quest first. We're on the draw. We have a bobble draw also. We don't have turn one Thalia though.
Give me sugar. <laughs> Thanks for following, my friends. Appreciate it. If you haven't followed, hit that follow button, of course. Welcome. Watching on YouTube, hit that sub button too, all right? For more fun content like this. Give me sugar. In water. Uh, Eep or mulligan. The problem is that Turn 1 Thalia isn't even good because we want to cast Quest first. So this hand would probably just be Plains Quest go and then Quest Thalia and then we have two draws. We have our draw step and the bobble draw and then another draw step to draw creatures. Um, so the question is like, is this, is this worse than a random six? Give it our draw step, our bobble draw and another draw step. Seeing some mulls and shell. I see three red mulligans. I only respond to my subscriber mulligan or keep keep emotes. Um, I kind of want to keep it. I'm just gonna keep. Spire Bluff Canal. Go. Okay. Huh. Okay. That's a good draw. So, I'm just gonna play quest and say go. I suppose, like our deck is full of like 30 plus cheap creatures. So like, you know, we're drawing to a lot of them. Um, we could bobble here because we have Citadel, Mox, Pest next turn anyway. And I want to draw more zeros if possible. Um, but I also want to play quest before I play Thalia. The thing is, maybe I don't. Maybe playing double quest is just stupid. You just don't need to play that many quests. Oh, I could have played Quest and then Signal Pest. I'm stupid. I go Citadel, Mox, Bobble, Quest, Land, Pest. Yeah, I'm, I'm an idiot. Yeah, I'm stupid. Okay. Um, however, yeah, we're going to Bobble them. So, oopsie. In my mind... It was, you know, turn one Thalia with the Moxes, or just turn one Plains Quest, and then the card I drew just should have informed my decision, but I just didn't really think about it. So that's bad, because we there's a, a world where it's possible we could have um, actually attacked with our, the armor next turn. So that's probably, that was a pretty, pretty bad mistake. So it's okay. We're learning. Five quest counters is so many. It's a lot. That's where a card like Glintalk comes in. Glintalk is worth two counters by itself. It's probably just an Arclight Phoenix deck. Those decks are all the rage right now. I don't know what they're doing, so... They're just sitting here doing nothing. So if they're doing that, I'm going to do a little shilling. Hop on over to Twitter. Give me a follow at JimDavisMTG. I'm going for 10,000 followers for the year. We're at 9,161. we got about a month to do it. I think we can. Probably do a giveaway at some point soon. Give me a follow on Twitter. They got a Thought Scour on top. Cool. No draw in the deck next turn allows you to attack with Argent Armor. So we go. If we had properly played Pest, we draw with Opal. We draw. What are you talking about? We draw Glintalk, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we, we, could, we could have attacked with the Pest. Pest is one. We draw off Bobble. We draw off Return. We draw Glintalk, Memnite. So that's one, two, three, four. And then we can cast Thalia for five. Is that enough mana to do that? Maybe yes, maybe no. Maybe not. Hey, maybe not. 
All right, so Thing in the Ice is awkward. Ornithopter is dope. So we actually drew the exact sequence of cards. So there's a one counter on it. Thopter is two. Hawk is three. Thopter is four. Yeah, we, we could have done it. We, we, we could have done it last turn. So we drew the exact sequence of cards to punish my misplay. Whoever says never punished in chat, you're wrong. You're wrong. I do get punished. All right. Okay. Um... Okay. We're playing Thalia for sure. Because we just need to play Thalia now. Alright, that's one. We also Glintalk our Mox Opal. That's not enough though. Ark! Thanks to the host, appreciate that. Alright, I think I just like Thalia, Glintalk, Ornithopter, replay Ornithopter, go. They may have Gutshot? I mean, they might. That's, it is pretty funny that we drew the, the perfect runner-runner cards to make my misplay actually matter. But it's also good for us because our hand is actually good. So, yeah, Thalia is obviously very good versus deck. Thalia is really good in general, you know. Looking to buy time in an aggro deck, Thalia is really, really good. This also makes it almost impossible for them to thing in the ice next turn. And then... Once we get the armor in play, they're just dead because they can't kill the armored creature. We just kill their thing in the ice and go nuts. So, Also, if we get the armor onto the Thalia, then that's just game over. But they'll probably be able to kill Thalia this turn. Could have gone super greedy with the uh, second quest, but I think that uh, that's a little much. The, uh, they can't kill it in response because it, it just puts it on the creature. There's no targeting. So once I sacrifice this, as long as I have a creature in play, I can put it on it. So they can't bolt it in response. So All right, they have the gut shot. That's pretty good for them. Suppose they have Bolt Bolt here, it's pretty bad for us. Alright, they have Metamorphose. I guess that means they probably have two spells, they can probably flip the, flip the thing. That sucks. Ah, it's getting punished super hard. We could have had turn two quest. I guess they had the uh, the gut shot though, so they would, they would have just killed the uh, the pest in response, so that actually wouldn't have mattered. We got blown out. They bricked? Wow. Wowzers. Oh, we drew an armor. So now this card's dead. That's okay, though. Um, Yeah, that's insane. Play signal best. And kill them. Imagine if they had it. Nice. They, had a, they had a gut shot. They could, they could have a gut shot, actually. They could have a gut shot. That would be gas. If they just held the gut shot and they had the patience to do that. All right. Blow me out. If you got it, you got it. I'll be extremely impressed if they have got shot. I will concede the match on the spot. Not the match, the game. Oh my god, they have it. Alright. Um Well now we're boned because we have an ar we have an armor in our hand, so our second quest doesn't even do anything. Alright, I guess we're dead. 
They win. They're playing Pyromancer's Ascension? Wow, what is this? That's weird. Alright, I mean, that's fine. Gut shot too strong. Double gut shot, flip thing on turn three through Athalia. Okay. We're going to want Rest in Peace, Canonist. We're a lot of cards here. Forge Tender. Um, we're going to want to cut. I'm going to need to be all speed. Cut the Frogmites. I imagine Frogmite will be coming out most of the time because it's just like bad against artifact removal and sweepers. No, because if we if we did not misplay and we had the signal pest in play, we would have gone for the armor attack and they would have gut shotted it. So we would, we would have lost anyway. So it would have been even more brutal. We would have had the perfect nut turn two and they would have just, uh, what's it called? Gut shotted it because it only has one toughness. I don't want path. Um, I don't want rest in peace. They're probably a Phoenix deck. They have Pyromancer Ascension also. We have so many like other elements that slow them down, like Canonist and Thalia. Although Canonist seems rough for us. Like, we want to be casting a lot of spells in one turn. Maybe we just don't want Canonist. Maybe we cut like I don't know, Mrs. Bobble or something. Hmm. I don't know, honestly. I'm, I actually have no idea. I have no idea what to board out here. Can't cut too many artifacts. Maybe cut the Bobbles. But turn one, Thalia or Canada seems so good. We don't want rest. I'm going to get. I'm going to rest in peace. We'll try, we'll try no, no rest in peace. Take those out. We'll do three Canadists and we'll do. Um, we'll cut two Inspectors, I guess. I don't know. I could have got the pests maybe to play around Gutshot. Yeah, that's better. I should let the inspectors cut the pests, probably. Whatever. Whoa, that's a bad hand. Uh, okay. Mulligan. Alright, this is a hand. We'll keep. Glint Hawk. Okay, I guess that's fine. We have turn one, Inspector, Mox, Memnite, Hawk, Forge Tender. And we're just gonna try and beat him down, I guess. Blast, yeah, sure. Blast. What is this deck? If you're just tuning in, welcome to the stream. Trying out Venerated Loxodon. This is the most extreme of the, of the three Venerated Loxodon decks we're trying out. Boom. There you go. Five power on turn one. That's all we got. We're all in. Serum Visions, you got it. It's only six cards. We, we mulliganed. We have a clue, though. Get a clue. This returns an artifact. It sucks. It bounced a creature, it could bounce the inspector. That was a mistake. Um, I'm going to crack this clue, and if I had drawn Venerated Loxodon, I'd want to cast it. 100% to draw it here. Punish again. The last time, we, we would have lost. It was still a mistake, though. I mean, I, I would have made the play if I didn't make the mistake, so... This does turn our mocks off if we crack this clue, but I think it doesn't matter.
Manamorphos. Obviously, that's the tension with the deck, you know, in that if we had uh, Quest of the Holy Relic first, we would have had it on turn two, basically, but we drew it on turn two, so there's some tension there, of course, you know. Arc light, nothing. I mean, they're dead in two turns. We have a forge gender, so. Glint Hawk. Yeah, I mean, why wouldn't I? Quest for the Holy Relic. Oh, my mox is off. I'm dumb. Man, I'm playing bad. I'm sorry, everyone. This deck is a lot weirder than the first few decks, so we're kind of like learning on the fly here. That was pretty bad. My mox is off. I should have probably just played the hawk and not even bothered with the with the quest. All right, it's fun. Nah, no hardened scales. I don't think hardened scales and locks it on play very well together. All the hardened scales, all the good hardened scales cards cost two, and those they they play very poorly with the uh, locks it on. Is Loxodon better than Steel Overseer? Yeah. In what we're trying to do, yes. Because Loxodon is very, very good against the card Lightning Bolt. And Overseer is very, very bad against the card Lightning Bolt. They went top, top. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what the play is here. Two bolts, maybe? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be re regretting not playing this so badly. All right. Uh. Okay. I'll prevent that. You're dead. All right, cool. Um, for game three, I'm putting the inspectors back in. I'm cutting two signal pests. It does make our swarm strategy worse, but they are very bad against um, the card Gutshot. Right? Nah, maybe they're just too necessary. What do I want to cut? I don't know. Maybe we just cut them? Alright, I guess. My gut shot is... Right, we'll just leave it in one. I, I'm not sure, honestly. I'm, I'm really not sure. Down one quest, I'm a draw? Nah. Dex is too good. Can't board anything out, obviously. Um, this hand is very, very good. Right? Yeah. We're obviously going to draw, draw our armor, our second armor in our first draw step, but we've got land, quest, bobble, opter, opal, hawk, thopter. It's pretty good. I was so ready to draw it there. I was so ready to draw the armor. All right. Quest. New York City represent, represent, zent, quest of the holy relic, represent, represent, zent. When the quest is in play, I'm never hesitant. Uh, we could have Bolt here, we just bounce the, the, the Opal at that point. It's not the end of the world. So if I hawk here and they bolt it, and I'm forced to bounce my Mox Opal, it it's it's whatever. It's not that bad. Nah, because once they if they kill it in response, we don't have Metalcraft anymore. So all right, so this is fine.
Do I bobble them? I think bobbling them gives me a higher chance for a, a turn to activate, but I'll just say go. I'll see what they do. Improvised cards? I don't think there are any good improvised cards. Alright, now we're going for it. Top card, gut shot. It's good to know about. Alright, we draw. Thopter, Thopter. The first ball up, Mem Knight. Second ball up, Chef of Dunes. Tilt. We have, a, we have a clue draw, though. We do have a clue draw. Come on. Big money. We have six outs to probably win the game this turn. I guess they have they could have a braid. That's true. Well, whatever, we're doing it. Sorry, Mario. Your armor is in another castle. What does armor do? It vindicates things when you attack. Alright, I mean, they just drew Gutshot also, which sucks. Obviously, if they flip Thing in the Ice, we get to fire off our quest, but they have like an Abrade. I suppose Anger of the Gods is really bad here, too. And the flip is a must, so they have to flip it. I think the ice is a cool card. And to go castle represent, represent, zent, her rising canopy, represent, represent, rent. When the armor's in my hand, I'm never hesitant. Gonna draw a second copy, represent, represent, zent. Shattering spree. I mean, uh, okay. Is that even good? Like they have gut shot in their hand, so the one man, the one type of creature didn't even matter. This is weird. Maybe they have double gut shot in their hand, and they're going for the blood again. That'd be so sick if I had double gut shot. Can you imagine double gut shot here? Oh, kill me. All right. I mean, I'm going to go for it again. If they have double gut shot, like, whatever. We're clearly signing up for a much more inconsistent deck by playing this. The question is, is the is the explosiveness worth the inconsistency? New sub, Bay Jam, what's up my friend? Welcome, thanks for subbing, appreciate it. The thing in the ice, number two. And now they have mana up again. Still feel like they have double gut shot. I mean, now it could be, like, not double. <sighs> so, I can play Venerated Loxodon and put the last quest counter on, but I gotta tap my creatures to do it. Of all the awkward things in the world, I think I'm better off just cracking the canopy. I think we're just, gonna, we're just still trying to just go for it. 
Um, I guess now they could have any one mana spell and gut shot because we we know they have gut shot because we saw it on top of their deck. Um, and any one mana spell plus gut shots also a blowout. Um, so it's much the blow the blowout potential currently is much higher. <laughs> Beijing, thanks, my friend. The sizing doesn't matter because they just bounce it with the uh, the thing in the ice. I'm just going to go for it. All right. We're almost surely getting blown out here, but I think it's just our best chance to win. They just don't have it, you know. I don't think we're going to win this game by just by just sitting around. Like we're just we're just dead very very fast to be sitting in the ice. All right. Godspeed us. I'll put it on the inspector. Move to combat. Alleluia. Alleluia. Wow. Godspeed you, Argentum Armor. Now, they kind of need to have an abrade. Or they're dead. They did fire off the shattering spree really aggressively. So wow. 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 Sometimes you just gotta shove it all in the middle and hope they don't got it. Woo! If you're just tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name's Jim Davis. Welcome. Um whoo, boy, I'm at the shivers from that one. That was uh this is, um, I can't even talk. Acro, six month resub. <sighs> You're all scrubs? That's how. That's how good it's going to be. We're, we're trying to break venerated locks on in modern. This is version C of our attempts. Version A was a beatdown deck. You missed it, go on YouTube and find it. It'll be on in a little bit. Um, version B was a Chalice of the Void based deck. It's kind of similar with Chalice of the Void. Version C here is a deck based around Quest of the Holy Relic. So, Venerated Loxodon is kind of our backup plan. If uh, the quest doesn't work out, we can kind of go wide and attack. Um, I don't think there's a reasonable way to uh, to shuffle back in the armors, no. Most of the shuffle style cards are like blue and they cost two or three mana and they're not very good. That's a raid. Team J, bro. I, I capitulate to you, the better modern cube streamer. Is four Loxodon too many? No. Loxodon's great. Man, every opening hand's a wild ride with this deck. Uh, this is a keep. Version B, the, the Chalice version didn't feel very good. Too many twos, Chalice didn't seem great. The regular beatdown version seemed quite good, actually. We have enough, enough disruption from our Leonard Arbiters and Thalias and things. They're like good Death and Daxes deck. core outfitter. I mean, either the, either the armor gets in the first time or it doesn't, you know? Yeah, version A seems the best so far. I think this version has potential, though, because the problem is, like, in modern, you just need nut draws, you know? And this deck has one of the best nut draws in the entire format. You know, this deck can attack with a 6-6 six, six, that like, kills a land on turn 2. Alright, so we're going to quest. I think we're going to bobble, too. I probably should have bobbled first, I guess, to see what they're doing, but whatever. I should bobble on their turn. Ah, whatever. I should have bobbled on their turn in case they have Thoughtseize. They have, obviously, they're just playing a Serum Vision deck because everyone's just playing these Arth Arclight Phoenix decks.
Could Locked It On improve Burning Tree Emissary decks? Those decks are just bad, I think. Obviously, yes, the turn you can turn one people with the Grizzle Brand deck, sure. But ooh, Lotus Bloom? Wow. That's exciting. Um I mean this should be a really good matchup for us. They're playing Ad nauseum. Ugh. I mean I think we just Thalia here. Second quest is just, just worthless. Just Thalia, and we'll just try and get him before this Lotus Bloom goes off and they kill us. 707, new friend, new sub. What's up, friend? How's it going, my friend? Welcome. What's your name? Where are you from? Questions are in chat. Um, Spellskite is kind of cool. Alright. I mean... We're one creature away from armoring them. And if you armor them, they're probably dead. And they probably have no way to interact. Because their interaction is based on stopping combat damage. And while we care about combat damage, it doesn't really matter that much if we're killing a land every turn. So... So we have many, many looks next turn. We have two canopies... Any zero mana creature will do it. Any creature in general will do it, obviously. No land? Wow. And not only is it a creature, it's the best creature. Frogmite, I adore you. All right. Um, do we play the second quest? No, we, yeah. Yeah, sure. I don't think it matters. There's no scoop the second we cast this Frogmite, so. Hello. How do you like them apples? So turn four, not amazing. You know, with a Thalia, obviously whenever you're playing a disruptive element, it slows down your clock, but slows them down too. So turn four is not bad, you know? New sub is Beijen for uh, Jay from Anchorage, Alaska, playing as M15. Favorite card of all time is Lightning Bolt. Favorite deck is Jessica Ascendancy. Puppy name is Lily. Sweet. Thanks, Jay, for subbing. I appreciate that. All right, cool. Uh, Aether's Sworn Canonist, they probably can't beat because they have to cast two spells. They have to cast Ad Nauseam. I guess they get, yeah, they, and then other stuff too. Uh, Damping Sphere seems irrelevant. Let's cut. I guess Frogmites. We are interested in speed. Maybe we leave like two Frogmites in and cut two Inspectors. Yeah, I like that better, I think. Um, the thing is, Matthew, the, the other versions have Ghost Quarter and Leonard Arbiter, which is pretty good against Strawn, too, so... All these decks seem pretty good against Strawn. We lost Strawn once in our first league, but... Splash Blue for Trinket Mage? <laughs> Todd, don't you miss the days when Trinket Mage was, like, the nut? Like, it was just like Trinket Mage. It gets anything. It's just this awesome value card. It gets whatever you want. It's Demonic Tutor. It's value. It's just the best card. Uh, uh, okay. Let's just not draw our second armor. Cool? Cool. Boo -doo, beep, boo -doo. Beauty That's not a good draw. Maybe we could have, could have shaved one Loxodon. Um, 
because like we don't want to draw two in this matchup. This matchup is more about uh, quest and hate cards than Loxodon. Yeah, I think that would have been better. Blue for Psy. I mean, doesn't Psy doesn't really do much in this deck. Is Loxodon fast enough against combo? Um, it definitely is a very fast clock. But it's possible in this particular version of a deck where we're playing quest and we're more leaning harder on quest that we don't we don't want it. We should have boarded one of those out. I mean, I think Trigger Mages is, is just too, it, it costs too much up front, Todd. Like we already have a, a Glint Hawk as a one mana way to do that, you know. All right, so let's draw a Glint Hawk right now. Well, will that do it? I don't even know. Chef of Dunes. Oh my god, this hand is bad. This hand got real bad real fast. Um, go. They scried top, and they scried bottom. All right. This wasn't top, top. Send a message. Eh, I feel like I can damn or something. Uh, all right, go. Excuse me. Well, I'll be breaking goblins in modern. I tried. It's not there. On life, yeah, we're we're in trouble. That's mad awkward. All right, I guess we're just playing Loxodon. Ah, uh, whoops. Frogbite might also be ambitious. All right, next turn. Next turn, we got him. Just you wait. Scry goes bottom. A second on life. All right. Now you got to attack their mana. Huh. That was good. That was real good, actually. All right, so now we um play one mana Frogmite and Convoke and get him in there. All right. We got a game, folks. Wait, nope. Nope. Alleluia. Alleluia. So now, I think we have to just go after the lands at this point. Um... Because we kill it on life, we probably just die to a land and an ad nauseum. So let's we'll go after the lands, try and constrain their mana. And uh, they're also just dead in a few turns. So wow. Todd with the bad juju in chat, calling out the Slaughter Pact. They didn't have it till you said that, Todd. Sorry, the camera's usually on, but the camera back over here now. The sun was being awkward, so there we go. I like having the camera over here so I can, like, look over and look back. All right. Um, we'll just draw some lands, I guess. Or a Mistress Bobble. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have 11. So we have, a like, a three-turn clock here. Oh, we're dead. We're so dead. At least, it's, at least it's not non-black, non-artifact. So I don't feel really stupid about like putting it on the on the white creature. All right, let's look at our top card. Another venerated loxodon. That's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18. It's only 19. If it was 20 power, that might be better. That doesn't even matter because it's 2020. All right, whatever. We're, we're in trouble here. Attack. Probably die next turn. If you guys haven't seen uh, Todd's stream yet, Todd Anderson, Strong Sad, 
started streaming somewhat recently, and Todd's the man, and I'm really happy he started streaming because he's the man. And uh, he streams great. It's fun to watch. Check him out. Give him a follow at strong underscore sad. Very happy to see him streaming. It's good seeing more people entering the fray. You know, we got arenas bringing some people in. People are coming in anyway. It's great. Uh, okay. That plays, actually. This plays. Um, and the strong bad in the email. Hmm. I mean, I guess we just act twice, right? They might have an angel disgrace to put themselves at back at one, but I mean, Canada should be really good here. If they can't kill the Canadas, they can't win. So we could go Canada's locks it on and make a bigger board. But we're just gonna put them and put them below, below the damage, I guess. Strong door and the strong bad and the emails. All right, so they're gonna go to one. That's sneaky. Well, feel, 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 feel better, bud. Feel better, bud. So they go to one. They have two cards in hand. I imagine we're going to win this game. Um, they could have packed the negation. That's true. That would be super awkward. But we can't do anything about it, so... They have packed the negation. It's one less card, I guess. Make impact. Boo -doo -beep -boo -doo. Boo -doo -beep -boo -doo. They can just pay for the pact, folks. You can just pay for pact. It's not like it's like, you know. You don't always gotta cheat with it. The card can't be used as intended. They are really of a tank here. What are they tanking about? They have ad nausea, maybe? They would just killed us last turn. Doesn't make any sense. I don't know. Whatever. F6. I put my armor in play. I did my job. Now it's on them to try and do their job. Ah. <sighs> Oh, waiting for our opponent. I remind everyone check out CoolStuffInc.com. CoolStuffInc.com, number one spot on the web for to get all your gaming needs. Um, of course, Magic, as well as all their card games, board games, miniatures, role playing games, supplies, you name it. Big sale happening Cyber Monday, Cyber Week, uh, part two. Twenty percent off all Magic Full Art Basics. That's awesome. I also have Ultimate Masters boxes for uh, two seventy nine. You can use my code Jim five for five percent off your order on any non Cyber Week sale. So ultimate masters boxes and stuff, and then just in on in general, on general, and um, also great articles too. I do a video every Monday, and I do an article every Friday. Check it out, coolstuffinc.com. And our Aether Sworn Canonist is still on the stack. Also go to bcwsupplies.com. BCW is of course my team, Team BCW. Uh, we're awesome, by the way. And then. They sell great, great gaming things. You may have seen BCW, they're famous for their boxes, but they also do have a great gaming line too. And, uh, oh, nope, they're doing stuff now. So hop on, Gym 10 promo code for 10% off. They got great binders and sleeves and stuff, it's great. One block in the pool. One block in the bull. Yeah, sneaky bitch. Deck guard, BCW deck guard elite sleeves. 10% off. Promo code Jim10. Don't be shy. A teaser for an article. Uh, well, Monday's Monday's video is about cube drafting and how, how to draft the modern cube. And then uh, the article on Friday, I think I'm going to do a look at the uh, the modern ban list as far as cards that can come off. Cards that should maybe should maybe go on it and things like that. Um, obviously, the ban list came on Monday. Nothing was changed, so no bans. You know, stirrings and looting, 
you know, maybe go on the list. Cards like Splinter Twin and Stoneforge Mystic maybe come off. I don't know. Check out the article on Friday. Hey, thanks, my friend. I don't know what they're doing. They're, they're one block floating. I, I got nothing. Burnsy, what do you think? I'm sleeping. Okay. Oh, it spoils the vault. All right, so they're casting spoils. Bantu's Last Reckoning, and it's three cards down. Why would... What? Couldn't they have just killed us? No. Oh, the, the Canonist. That's a huge deal. All right. So now they're at negative one. They have two cards in hand. And... We have nothing. So let's draw and play a 4-4. Now we draw a land, things get filthy. We, we're, right now we're on the backup plan, which is play a 4-4 four, four for 5, and then equip a equipment for 6 mana. I'll take it. They gotta pay for Bantus again. And we draw a land. Alright. What do we kill, though? It's probably Unlife, right? Ooh, that's, that's even better. That's a great draw. And we're so lucky. We're not going to sacrifice a land, I don't think. I don't think it matters, honestly. Like, we play Canonist here, and they have to kill it or they die, because they can't, they can't combo through this card. And they're at lethal poison. We draw a land, we can armor them. Oh, that's true. The armor also just kills them because it's 10 poison. Yeah, there's there a negative one now. That's right. Oh, we didn't draw land, so... Mirror Enforcer would have been cheaper. Alright, so we're not sacking our land. We have lethal. Are you real right now? They drew another Bantu's Last Reckoning? Is this real life? Huh. That sucks, actually, because that, that means I miss a land drop. Ugh. That's gross. Alright, well... Oh, man. So I play... I bounce... A land and replay it. Only have four lands in play. Ugh. Do I just sack the the canopy here to try and find another creature to play? Yeah, Bantu can't have more than one last reckoning. Alright, four, I could just draw a card. I don't know what I can draw that's good though. I mean, we've already been through two canonists. Alright, I'll just do this. This sucks. That's a sick Bondu's last reckoning, by the way. Yeah, I want to return an artifact. Not bouncing my armor, that's for sure. So they pay for their pact. They have three cards in hand. What a ridiculous game. These people, you know. They have a third Bantu's Last Reckoning? Damn. That is a lot of Bantu's Last Reckonings. Echoing Truth. Fatal Push. Alright, so they have three Bantu's, one Slaughter Pact. God, they only have one Slaughter Pact? That's so sick. One Slaughter Pact, one Fatal Push, one Echoing Truth, and three Bantu's Last Reckoning. Uh, 
I'm only seeing three. Oh, there's also a Fatal Push in Exile. How did that get there? Oh, from the, uh, the Spoils of the Vault. Okay, so two Push, one Slaughter Pact, three Bontus, one Echoing Truth. Okay. Alright, um, yeah, I think I locked it on for Frogmite. I think I got two locks on for Frogmite. Like, I mean, they have Bontus now, which kind of sucks. Maybe Inspectors are better, too. Maybe we just go all all low to the ground. Nah, we need some. Because if we don't get the... If we don't draw a quest, we need to be able to clock them. Without locks at all, we can't clock them. Uh, is Inspector better than Frogmite? Maybe. I don't think so. All right. Why are we making them do this? Seems like only for deck information. That's exactly why. I want to see what cards are in their deck. All right, let's go. Double Mox Opal. Man, if this hand had a uh, a quest in it, we'd be doing it. As it stands, it's four power, five, five power on turn one. Is five power on turn one worth it? Is that a fast enough clock? Probably not. Citadel, Mox, Memnite, Pest, Hawk, Go. Yes, we kill on our turn five, their turn four. Hey, Mulligan. I mean, the thing is that that hand isn't even fast enough to kill their like they they goldfish on turn four. So this hand is essentially five cards. Um, if we draw a white source, we have turn two quest, turn three Thalia. This is bad. I'm mean, gonna mulligan again. I think his hand's just too bad. What's up, Peace Bone? Um, this is version C, not version three. They're all different versions of a deck. They're not like it's not like you know we're upgrading. We're just playing different flavors. Um, yeah, I'm gonna mulligan. <laughs> so obviously we drew armor again. All right, I'm just gonna keep this. Frogmite, turn one pest. Turn, you know, land, yeah, just bottom this. All right, I mean, we're probably dead here. What are you gonna do? We have Canonist. If we're lucky and they can't kill it, maybe we punk them out with it. Phobo Baggins, thanks for watching, my friend. They scry to the top? Oh, God. Message sent. You can't play one armor because if you draw it, then all your quests are dead. I think we're in bad shape here. Too many pushes, too many Bonthus last reckoning, too many, too many mulligans. Like I'm gonna lock it on here. They're gonna cast Bontus last reckoning. Are probably gonna concede. Actually, was gonna concede, but yeah. I mean, we have no other play. So What's up, Pierce? Quest is uh, they, they have a Lotus Bloom too. I didn't even notice that. Um, Quest is 
One mana, one mana uh, enchantment, play five creatures, and you get to search out an equi equipment, put it into play for free. Dread Ship Reef. Laboratory Maniac. As he's a maniac, maniac. Uh. Multi five, they had Bontu's last reckoning. We drew armor in our opening five. There's basically no chance to win. They don't even charge their land. It's gonna kill us this turn, probably. Alright, I mean it's kinda stinky. Okay. Okay. I mean, their deck does have a fail rate, I suppose. They have three cards, they have infinite mana. We have a very slow clock. And they are they are getting in. This is this is aggressive. Maybe they have lightning storm in their hand, they're trying to kill us. Thalia. Thalia is the nut, obviously, because Thalia can block these this brutal beatdown force we're currently facing. I mean they need to kill Than Canonist to win. They can't win whenever there's a Canonist in play. No, not that one. Just your average game modern, yeah, you know. Riveting TV. Yeah, obviously a hawk would be the best possible drop, so. Add Nau's end step, and that's true. But they, but they can't, they need to have a Angel's Grace too. So they, they can do that if they have a, the enchantment already in play. Great. Good draw. Um... I'm just going to attack for two, I guess. I even play the second quest. Like they have no way to deal with the first quest. Yeah, just like go. I think Squadron Squadron Hawk is really really bad. Squadron Hawk is a one one flyer for two mana. Um, we're looking to pop quest on turn two, not on turn like four or five. You know. Oh god, here we go. Hey Flash, want to hear a joke? Another monkey. All right. Selfless Spirit could be a card. We're playing the four tenders because uh, right now Anger is very popular. But if also Terminus is popular too, but if actual like factual Wrath of God was popular, um, I could see or Bontu's Last Reckoning, I could see the uh, spirit being good. Monkey see, monkey do. 
No blocks. That's weird. That makes me think they have a uh, they have light the lightning storm in their and they, they could just yeah, they could try and just kill us with it. Um Nine, eight, seven, six, five. If they swing out, we just kill them back, though. Yeah, I'm just gonna say go here. We could, we could like play Thalia to add a counter to quest, but I think they have Lightning Storm in their hand, and they're gonna swing. They might swing out next turn. And then I want to have Thalia available uh, if they have a Wrath after that. Scry goes bottom, please. Goes on top. Spirit does also stop anger, but like less efficiently. Yeah. So this looks like a. Uh, they have the light lightning storm in their hand. I suppose if they have an extra mountain, we're just or an extra land in their hand, we're just dead, right? But I can't block with canonist here. Like they're probably locked off of casting things that matter. This is super awkward. <sighs> If it was incoming Bantus, they would have blocked last turn. They didn't block last turn because they have Lightning Storm in their hand. They want to try and kill me. But they have Storm and a land. What does Lightning Storm do exactly? They have a Lotus Bloom in play. X is 3 plus the number of chart. Yeah, so each land... So they would need to have two lands in hand. Yeah, they, but they can... I agree. All right, so if they have Lightning Storm and two lands in their hand, we're dead. But I can't throw a Canonist away. I didn't play Thalia to play around Wrath. Oh, wait, it's one land in hand. I'm stupid. Well, they don't know. We don't have lands in our hand, but... Uh, this game's been frustrating. So, probably looking at Angel's Grace here. Um, I guess maybe they're maybe they also should be trying to race with Angel's Grace. Um, what a weird game we're playing here. I'm gonna attack with. Hey Jim, I'm still relatively new to the channel. Unlimited is not normally my favorite, but. I just wanted to say that the John Draft was one of the most delightful Twitch streams that I have had the pleasure of viewing. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Nick. I appreciate that. All right. Um, we're never blocking with Canonist. We... If they had a push, they're probably just dead. Glenhawk's going to block. Thalia can block. This is a really, really weird game. And I want to hold the second Thalia in case they drop Bantus. They have a push here. This is so bad. Alright, they have Angel's Grace. Nope. Yes. Alright, so they have Angel's Grace. Sure. They go to one. And we say go. And... Alright, this makes more sense than them having a Lightning Storm. If they're trying to race us with this. So they probably have multiple copies of Angel's Grace. They're trying to race us. 
Yeah. I could have Storm, too, at this point. We obviously can't play around it, so... I wish we drew a land on a Mox Opal. Actually, it doesn't matter. They had, they had land to Storms last turn. Right, what is this? Is on life? No. Yes. Okay. What a ridiculous game we're playing here. We draw a creature, we can get the the armor going, assuming they have no Echoing Truth, no Fatal Push. If they had that, they would probably used it already. I guess if we draw a non-artifact creature, we can't cast it. So we need an artifact creature specifically. This is ridiculous. Yes, they can use City to cast... Uh, Angel's Grace. For that, for the exact, for that exact reason, because you can stack the trigger and cast Angel's Grace. Mana compliments, you can't do that. Alright, yeah, I mean, we're dead. I don't know if we could have played around that. We do all the five this game. And draw armor in our opening hand, but... Yeah, alright. I mean, I think that if we could have done something about it, it would have been, like, turns ago. It's like not taking an extra extra point of damage or two here and there. Our draw is Bobble anyway. Bobble sucks. All right. That was a very, very awkward game, Magic. We were 1-1. One one. Um, this deck is operating about as I expected. It's extremely glass cannony. You know, it's very, very all-in. Um, Loxodon does seem nice, but... It seems like it's not a great Loxodon deck. Loxodon's just kind of nice. I mean, I can't see blocking with Arcanist being right. They're much more likely to have the combo in their hand than they are to have the one Lightning Storm. Yeah, it was a weird, weird game. But if you missed it, Nick was Nick uh, was talking about with the cheer the John draft on my YouTube. Check out John draft my uh, my eight year old drafts my modern cube the, the modern cube and uh. He picks every card. He just does the whole draft. He just picks that one, picks whatever. Whenever he picks, I gotta play. And um, if we don't 3-0, there's no dinner for either one of us. Let's check it out on my YouTube. Ooh. This hand is something else. I'm gonna keep. See how this one plays out. Locks it on looks pretty good here. <laughs> We're on the draw. So we can peek at our top card with Bobble and see if we have a quest coming up. Burning Inquiry? Oh god, this hand can get really, really ugly really, really fast. I can't look. Discarded Thopter, Thopter. Oh, he drew a quest. No. Oh. I discarded a Thopters too. Oh man, what a tilt. They dumped Reveler and some some stuff. No Phoenixes at least. Oh. All right. Uh, Bobble. Guess this. Losing the quest. Just brutal. Inspector, Glint Hawk,
Thai is going to be good here, obviously. So, uh, like Signal Pest. And we'll probably ship our Bobble. See what they do in their turn. Metamorphose. Red, red. Flame Blade Adept. Go. All right. Top card is a mountain. We draw. Frogmite. The froggiest of boys. That's a pretty good, pretty good draw there. Um, let's go land. Valley of Frogmite Inspector. Could be worse. Could be worse. Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, Lover Boy, that was you. Yeah, that last game was really, really weird. Good game, my friend. One of the weirder games we've seen in a long time. So yeah, we just mush first, right? You can have gut shot in their deck. One froggy boy. Here's my stuff. All right. Yeah. Cool. Thalia does seem good right now. A lot of uh, Arclight Phoenix decks. All right, so... Want these rest in pieces for sure. Forge tenders, for sure. Cannonist also seems good. What are we cutting? Frogmite's got to go. And then... Does the Mono Red Hollow... It'll, it'll play Gutshot, right? I don't think so. We can cut... Some number of inspectors, I guess. There's so many cards to cut. Inspector, rest in peace. No, I think Loxodon's good in this matchup. Loxodon seems very good as long as we're not, like, combo racing, you know? The inspectors? I don't even know. We're making our deck much slower. I don't cut a bobble, I guess. I don't really know what to cut. I have no idea. Three gut shot? Okay. So I mean maybe they're playing gut shot, you want to cut the signal pests, but it's too late now, so. Ooh. As usual, Argentum Armor in our opening hand, basically every time. Uh, nice little mulligan here. Ooh. This thing could be good. Keep. We have our first turn one venerated locks it on. Top. Okay. How do you like these apples? Bam. That's what you get. Now I'll draw a land in Castalia. What's the score? We're 1-1 one on one with this version of the deck. This is our third version we've tried. This version is based around Quest of the Holy Relic. First version was based around uh, just beat down, like just good stuff. The second version was based around Chalice of the Void. If you missed them, they'll all be on YouTube. Look for them over the next few days. Only actually nine power, honestly. It's not like that good. Thanks for following everyone. Have a follow the stream with that follow button, of course. Welcome, welcome, welcome. For you, BBR, what's up? Gutshot. What? Gutshot me? Goblin lore? So they must have phoenixes in their hand. They were just trying to get lucky there. They did not get lucky. 
All right, land for Thalia? No. In fact, probably the most awkward draw in the entire deck. Uh, I don't really want to bounce any of my artifacts right now. Thank you. They go to nine. I guess I bounce Memnite. I'd rather have the, rather have the flying damage. I doubt they have anger in their deck. M. Night Shyamalan. This also makes it so we're lethal, so they have to chump block the locks it on if they can. And Anger here isn't even that bad because Loxodon's great. Shattering Spree? Oh no, not my Ornithopters. Anything but the Ornithopters. Yeah, you got it, friend. Yep, they showed me. Ornithopter aside. Obviously. Alright, well, hopefully we win this game. I mean, we're looking pretty good, but we could obviously just die. They have like a really good turn next turn somehow. Ramanab Ruins. There's the Phoenix they wanted to discard. Okay, that makes sense. Um, and they're at three. And that's a Mishra's Bobble. So we attack with everything, and they have to trade Phoenix for... No, they have to block the Loxodon. They have to chump the Loxodon. All right, let's look at our top or to, our top card, I think, so we know better information here. Our top card's, top card's a land. Yeah, sneaky maybe. So we attack all, they have to block the Loxodon. So theoretically they could like double block the Loxodon, it looks bad for us, but they can't because they'll die. So something has to block Loxodon and it can't be both creatures, so our Loxodon is guaranteed to live. So if they, if they block the Loxodon, they can block the Memnite and go to one, which is fine. And then um, we have Thalia next turn. And we still have Loxodon, and we have a Flyer that can kill them, and we have a big creature that can kill them. They have like a fiery temper here. Things could get a little dirty. All right, I have F six. I gotta, I gotta preheat the oven for dinner. Oh, I have fiery temper. God, I can't wait to see what I come back to. We have a lasagna tonight. Oh, they had a hollow one too? Ooh, that's bad. We're 10. Oh, rest in peace, right on time. All right, they have one card in hand. Um, this gets rid of a looting and a phoenix. Now I can attack and force the trade, just play Thalia next turn. Yeah. At least if they have a Bolt or a Gut Shot and they can kill Thalia, then I might, might just die. Okay. I think I agree. We trade, we play Thalia next turn.
That play that plays too. Best Mem Knight of all time. Of all time. It discarded a reveler and a land. It played a land. Burning Inquiry. Zero cards. They can put us to one. No, no they can't. We have free first strike. They're dead. Nice game. Two and one. Two and one. And we're having lasagna for dinner. I get some hype in chat for lasagna, please. If you like lasagna, raise your hand in chat. Fresh lasagna. Delicious. Fantastic. Yeah, they had, they had outs there for sure. Puke? Ah, uh, VTM. That's the closest I've ever come to banning someone from my chat. Puke. Get out of town. Uh, we're going to keep... Um, stamping Ground? Goblin Guide. Flame Blade Adapt. All right. All right. Uh, I guess we're going to bobble. Let's look at them and see what's up. They have a looting on top. That's fortunate. Quest for the Holy Relic, Memnite, and a Memnite. It's your turn. Hawk is two more. We need to draw any creature. <laughs> this deck's a wild ride for sure. You draw this thing every game. Every game, Armentum Armor. Is armor main deck necessary? And the quest would be pretty bad without it, you know? Again, this, this may not be the best way to build this deck. This is our, our third version. So far, I've liked the most basic version the best. Filthy hobbitses. All right, looting. As long as you don't draw the other one next turn, you know. We're gonna work more on the basic version. This deck is definitely gimmicky, for sure. Modern's also a gimmicky format, though. So, discard Goblin Lore and Burning Inquiry. It's pretty good for us. That is not a very exciting discard. Yeah, I mean, you got it. They fetched a Blood Crypt untapped. For what purpose? To what end, opponent? God, I hate these bobbles so much. These bobbles gotta go. Bobbles is bobbles way too bad. Bobble, the idea of bobble is to turn on your, your frog mites and your, your, uh, your mox opals. Bobbles way too bad. All right, um... Let's bobble and look at our top card, I guess. Attack for two, Glint Hawk, put the fourth counter on the thing, and hope we just get him next turn, I guess. Glint Hawk on top. All right. I mean, that'll do it. If I'm not back in five minutes, just wait longer. Hopefully they don't have push in their deck. Oh, that's, that's what it could be. It could be push. Hollow One usually plays Bolt, not Push. You can't respond to the quest with a Bolt, but you can kill with a Push. So, in place of Bobble, I'm not sure yet.
put the quest back package in version A. I mean, quest doesn't play well with like, you know, the legions landing and things like that. You know. Well, if they have push, we probably can't win. So, ten in. Thanks for the host, bud. I appreciate that. If you haven't been to my my teammate Tan and Grace's stream, check it out. Just Tan and Grace. Somehow, for some reason, it's not the Tan and Grace. It's just Tan and Grace. But uh, check it out. Same room, just different angle. See? My monitor, my monitor setup has changed. They must have a second push. There's no way they would do that without a second push. That's insane. That would be a monumental punt. Oh my god, we're going to get them. How... Okay. How broken would a Lotus Petal be for, for colorless only? Oh, that'd be really good. All right. Yeah, party's here. Question is, what do we kill? Do we go after the Black Source? Or just kill Tassiger? What does this quest even do? You find any equipment you want in your deck and put it in play equipped for free. What's up, daddy? So, on the Mem Knight, they're at 7, 8. It's also an attack for 7, which is good. Alright. I think I like killing the land, I agree. Now they're at six. We have a Glint Hawk. Right. Seems like it'd be pretty hard for them to win here. Green Source probably for Ancient Grudge, which obviously sucks for us, but Sweet. It was turn four armor. It's fine. All right. Rest in peace for sure. Uh, forge tender? I don't think so. Path to exile? Eh. Canonist? Eh. Don't want Tormod script? I don't know. What well, are we going to cut here? The frog mites always come out. Mantle? What? Paradise mantle? Nah, that card stinks. Like, the Mistress Bobbles and Frogmite should probably just go. Cut the Bobbles? I mean, we could cut the Bobbles. But for what? Like, I mean, I guess we just, like, overload on Graveyard Hate. I don't think we want Path. Uh, good morning. Without Bobble, like, I mean, Batter Skull, you can put Batter Skull in, sure. It doesn't really interest the Batter Skull. Why no Ink Moth lands? Because the we're only playing 15 lands. We need, we need our colored sources. We already have, play, we have, already have four Citadels. All right, we'll try no Bobbles and four Frog Mites, all right? It's probably not going to work, but we'll try it. Obviously, Tormod Script picks up some slack there as far as zero mana artifacts go, but. I mean, I think if you're putting Argentum Armor in play, it's really hard to lose. I don't think you want other, like, tutor targets for your Argentum or your uh, request. This hand doesn't really do anything. 
Um, it's just four mana sources. A 1-1, one, one, a 2-2, two, two, and a Thalia. Path is okay, but... Like, it's just not... I think we're more focused on our linear plan here. I'm gonna mulligan. Oh my god, hand's much worse. Point of mulligan's the five. Two, two, two flyers and a Tormod script. Correct. The more Path Exiles you have in a linear deck, the harder it is to execute your linear plan. We have a Scry. We're on the draw. I guess I'll keep. They multi five. Top card's Memnite. I mean, Memnite is pretty damn unexciting. I'm going to bottom that. We're obviously going to draw land, but... Oh, that hurts. I wish this Tormod script was a rest in, rest in peace. Great. Fantastic. Why? Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. New saw. What's up, my friend? What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome. This feels bad. Isamaru, not so good against uh, Grim Lobmancer. Card's so good. Lightning Bolt, the Glint Hawk, and the Fetch Land. Okay. Well, okay. About that. Well, we ain't playing our Hawk. We're just going to say go. So, this stands pretty bad. Tormod script is not ideal here. Um, it's just like okay. Um, on the mulligan, it gets a lot worse. Drawing two of them gets a lot worse. Rest in peace, obviously, much more ideal. Did they just they discard a hollow one? Lucky us. All right. All right. Mim Knight. We're just gonna pop off here. I only have three cards in hand. Hopefully this uh this uh Lobmancer, you know, won't have much to do. Their hand just sucks, there's like four anglers or something. I mean, there's obviously redundancy. I'd rather draw one Tormod script and one Rest in Peace than two Rest in Peace. Uh, we activated Dunes once. I think they're fine. They were they were very good in one game. I'll show the basic version of a deck at the end, and that video will be up on YouTube probably tomorrow. Glint talk. Give me That's not bad. Sugar. And water. I don't think we can draw a way to get the relic. Oh, we can. We can. Duh. Any zero drop. Let's do it. Hit me. All right. Frog bite's pretty bad. I had dreams of frog bite being good. They have not been realized. Frog bite's pretty bad. I knew it was bad when I put it in the deck, but I just wanted to relive old times. My old buddy Frogmite here. Raise your hand if you played Frogmite back in the day. They also could have push in their hand too, so... I mean, they... Wildly threw away push last game. We need Ancient Den. If we had Ancient Den, 
They have four cards in hand. Oh my god, they just obviously have a push in their hand. That is true. They can't push Frogbite currently. And they could, they could, they could like find a way to make it work, but yeah, I, I, they they could push it on the uh, Ar the Argent Argentum armor attack. I'm just gonna go for it. Like, what are we gonna do here? You know, sit here forever. The longer we sit here, the more cards go in the graveyard for Liver Lobmancer. Bombs away. Push me. Go ahead. I guess we'll um, put it on the inspector because the if they have an ancient grudge, they can kill the Memnite. Yeah, let's just do it. Combat. Oh, oh, hello. Okay. Maybe their hand really is four anglers. All right, our opponents uh, made some questionable plays here, you know. I got a cryptid in response, so they couldn't do this. Eh. Why don't I kill the black source? Because Lobmancer kills all my creatures. I mean, we draw lands or spells here, we're fine, I suppose. Okay. Blood Ghast and a looting in the bin. Alright, so we're gonna pop this crypt almost assuredly. They have two they have two non land cards in hand. And that's a Memnite. What's up, 95? Happy to have you, my friend. All my YouTube people. I like y'all, y'all great. We're going to upkeep crypt them in case they wanted to play an instant on the end step. What's up, Rapunzel? StarCraft? Um, I play StarCraft with subs occasionally, but I hardly... I play StarCraft once a month if I'm lucky, so don't get to play too much. But I have played StarCraft with subs before. Have I ever considered doing a stream someday where I test decks versus each other? Like I'm, oh, versus a different streamer. Eh. Could do that. That's not, not, that's not bad. I like a good clue. Who doesn't like a good clue, you know? I'll honestly take lands at this point. Yeah, it figures. I'll honestly take lands at this point. Just hard, start hard, hard equipping the, uh, the armor. VTM, you figured it out. I've got a clue. Ancient Grudge. Yeah, no way you hit, hit, hit the Memnite there. All right, so we're gonna say go. Yeah, yeah, hit, obviously. All right, so um, the armor plan is off. Unfortunately, we drew rest in peace one turn too late. Goblin Lore. Discarding a Phoenix. No hollow ones, please. Oh, with Angler. 
No, what is this? Assiger. Oh, his rest in peace came at the literal worst time ever. Just the worst rest in peace of all time. Maybe they won't read Sheffit Dunes and they'll just attack all out and we'll just draw a line and kill them. Alright, 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 alright. Discarded Mountain Burning Inquiry. They have two cards. Okay. They have a hollow one. Tilt. Ah, huh? Do it, you coward. Go to one. Go ahead, kill me. I don't care. That's annoying. All right. Game three. Maybe we want these paths. Um, these frog mites are really bad. Bring some paths in. I guess I don't hate Canonist either, honestly. Makes their looting their, their, their looting turns a lot worse. I honestly wasn't very impressed with Tormod's Crypt either. Maybe just bring in three Canonists and no Crypts. Um, Pure Steel Paladin and Core Outfitter are both just pretty bad. Like, it is very rare you're in a scenario where... You're kind of just sitting there with an armor already in play. That's not a scenario that's going to come up very often. And you're just putting two grizzly bears in your deck that are hard to cast for no reason. Like, this doesn't do anything. Like. Oh, yeah, Canada's like it's a hollow one, yeah. But they can't go, like, looting, you know, looting, looting something. It's a little awkward for us, too, but... But yeah, I think the Outfitter thing is like, it's trying to attack a scenario that, that feels kind of bad, but doesn't happen very frequently. Uh, yeah, this sounds fine. I can do this. Turn to Thalia here. Uh, don't ruin my hand. All right, we lost our Thalia and a Canonist, but it's not the worst. Oh, God, here we go. All right, just one? All right. All right, we're going to play Land Mox Opal, and we're going to crack this clue, and we're going to try and draw a quest. We didn't draw a quest. So now we're just going to play all our stuff and just try and kill them. You know, with our somewhat anemic fashion. Frenzy? Frenzy would be cute in this deck. If their hand is, like, bad, I think we're in okay shape. But if their hand is reasonable at all, um, I don't think we're uh, in good shape. Is there a reason I'm not playing the green-white Loxodon? What's the green-white Loxodon? This is 
an angler. Ugh, that's alright, we have path, I guess. Don't, don't have another spell, but... I think Codex Shredder is the same thing as as a core outfitter is. It's only good in the scenario where you already have your good card in play, but things kind of went wrong. Ah, that's brutal. Ah, uh, we got to pat this angler too. Whatever, we're off the quest plan, I think. Maybe we're not. I don't know. Let's attack and see what they do. God. All right. Yeah. I mean, if they have, if, if their hand is anything reasonable, we're just in so much trouble. I'm gonna cast the quest here. We're gonna try and get lucky. Draw like runner, runner, um, runner, runner, Glintox or something like that. If they hadn't killed my signal pest, I would have just cast the inspector and tried to keep the beats going, but that does not look good the last few games. Alright. That's fine. Glintalk number one. Jeez. Okay. Um. I don't even know if uh armor's even good next turn. We're already at ten. All right, well, it's your turn, and we'll be chump blocking a little bit and hoping to draw. Like, they have Grudge, too. Like, they just have too many answers, it feels like. Uh, Skyfisher's okay. I could maybe buy Skyfisher. Doesn't play as well with the artifact theme -y cards, but it is like Glintalk, obviously. It also can bounce your inspectors and stuff. I could buy a few Skyfishers, maybe. Alright, you gotta make some not fun blocks here. You could have a shoot wraith, but whatever. Ugh. Sure, that's fine. I mean, like, it could be worse, obviously. They have tricked us. Okay. Is that a clue? Glintalk. Close. Close. So we're going to chump the hollow one with the... I kind of keep the Ornithopter around, actually, because it has evasion. I'll block with the Memnite. I like to take attack here. Get some points in. Try and s squeeze in a little damage here and there. Hopefully their hand is just like... I don't even know what's bad at this point. <laughs> land, land, I guess. Like, Angler's pretty castable. Hollow one's one. That's, that's fair. Man, they probably have Ancient Grudge. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is gonna feel bad when they ancient grudge me. Or fatal push me or something. Alright. I feel like we've we've already hit our quota of them not having it this league. Yeah. There's no way they just don't have it here. Like, they've already had nothing, like, a number of times, you know? They can't keep not having it. And they are pausing. So maybe they're cursing right now? Nope, they're just timing their ancient grudge properly. They set a stop at the beginning of combat. They're adapting. Uh, maybe you just can't win anymore. You can't draw two mana sources next turn. Now they have the Lamford Grudge too. Yeah, we're just dead. All right, all right. That's a tough one. Uh, the card Ancient Grudge is pretty busted against us. So we're now two and two. As I said, this is going about how I expected it to. Um, so we have some crazy hands. We just crush our opponent, and a lot of our games are just like, ah, we have these cards in play. We've got a Frogmite and a Glintalk and stuff, you know. Or we just draw armor every game. So, like, definitely not the most consistent deck of all time. I do think that the Frogmites and the Bobbles seem really bad. Um, but I think that the card Quest for the Holy Relic is probably just not, not a reasonable card to put in your deck if you're playing Modern and plan on winning. Sand's pretty good. I'm keep. We're on the draw, too. A lot of big draws here. Make this hand real good. Kithian's pretty medium. It's not very good. Oh, I'm sorry. You wanted a hand without Argentum Armor? Just kidding. All right. Um, play, play inspector. Uh, there's no reason to play the thopter yet or the moxes yet. We should just say go here. Um, we can't attack with thopter anyway. We draw a quest. We're gonna want to keep it in our hand. Uh, we can't play thought. Oh, actually, we can't play thought yet. We can run double mox out. Ah, that works. Oh yeah, we'll do that. Never mind. Lotus Petal. That's much better. Hi. Turn one, Thalia. Holy crap, dude. Alright. I mean... This is doing it. This is a pretty good turn too here. But again, this is like, this is doing it, but the other deck also did this. Nothing about the armor package is helping us here. If anything, the, the armor package is actively hurting us. So this is kind of what the uh, the beatdown version of a deck was doing. Just a lot of stuff like this. Noxious Revival? That, that's that, that that's just fundamentally incorrect, unfortunately. Um, it's just card disadvantage. Otherwise, every deck would sideboard that card. What is this? Island, Island, Steam Vents? What's going on? I don't get it. What deck plays Giga Drows? Like taking turns with, with a mountain in their deck or the red in their deck? Oh, yeah, that. Sure. God, I I 
My disdain for the miracle mechanic is so unbelievably high. Like... Alright. Well, I have this very large army and a Thalia. Like, what a perfect turn to miracle that card. Two thousand. What's up, my friend? We both know it's been longer, but here we are. Good luck this weekend. Uh, no Baltimore for me this weekend. We have a lot of stuff going on on the home front. So, thank you, though. I mean, I guess they moved to combat. They got like cryptic command or something. No, we don't. All right. Well. They go to one? One. I don't even think I play anything else. I'm gonna draw a card here. So you go, I guess. Alright, I mean, I guess kill me. I have a Thalia, and you, you can take infinite turns if you got it. Kithian and Mox Amber. I already tried that deck. It's on my YouTube somewhere. It's pretty bad. Exhaustion? Oh, I'm the worst. I didn't play around Exhaustion. I could have played a creature. Alright, well, there are one. That's a good creature to play. <laughs> that card's bad against Exhaustion. Go, Inspector, go. Yeah, I mean, one Howling Mine effect is usually not enough to allow a taking turns deck to take all the turns. We will see if that is true. Fire Mines research taking turns? That's weird. Um, we tried Karn in one of the decks. It seems to. It's not a main deck card, I don't think. I mean,. I have lightning bolts. They only have three cards in end, so if they find another Holly Mine effect. It's like they snap time warp, they only have two cards left now. What's their win condition? I have no idea. Making their opponent opponent die of old age. To get the drums out. The problem is that the, I have to keep it hitting F6. I can't even just like sit here. So they have two cards in hand. Again, they need to keep chaining light, chaining up. Uh, that's aggressive. They need to keep chaining. Um, oh, was it visions too? That's a new visions. So they have one card in hand. They draw two cards here. No time warp and they're dead. I guess Cryptic does it too, but like... Sure. Now they have now they have zero cards in hand. So they have to draw a time warp off of these two... off their, off their two draws. Oh, they miracle the mastery. Perfect. Alright, they don't break this turn, we lose. Marik City. No cryptic, please. Move to combat? Attack with everything. That's sad, you're dead. If only you could take in all the turns instead of like, you know, seven of them. Good day, sir. Or ma'am. Uh okay. We're gonna want to 
Take out the bobbles and frog mines because they're bad. Canonist. Forge tender. And then leave in a bobble, I guess. I'm going to assume they have some sort of like red based mass removal, so. I mean, they get us, they get us. We don't really have, like, a, a huge way to interact with them. Obviously, Thalia is good, and Canonist is good, but this is the final version? No. This is version C. It's not like 1, 2, 3. These are three different thematic versions of a deck. We had the Beatdown version, the Chalice of the Void version. This is the Quest of the Holy Relic version. So far, probably the worst of the three. I mean, this hand is mopey. But maybe we just keep it. Canonist is kind of cool. Yeah, it's pretty bad. That's a mulligan. All right, this is better. Obviously, we have an armor in our hand, but we have quests and some creatures we can keep. Top card, Mox Opal. Yeah, we got a bottom of that. Holy crap, dude. Thanks for following, everyone. If you haven't followed the stream, hit that follow button. Of course, you're watching on YouTube. Make sure you follow on there. Mm -hmm. hmm. Scrybug. Everyone loves a good Scrybug, right? No Howling Mine? Damn. Condemn? No. You're an aggressive deck. Just lead on four gender. Obviously, not drawing a land there is pretty bad. I'd say we are going to lose this game about 90% of the time, maybe higher. Can't really afford to miss a land drop against this deck. I would say we're taking turns deck is about a turn to a turn and a half too slow for modern. So if you give them that turn, they're going to crush you. Uh, I, don't, I don't play music when I'm recording YouTube videos. Copyright reasons. Mm -hmm. Could even draw like a Mem Knight or something. You know? So, how about they miss a land drop here? Seems highly unlikely, but one of the ways you could possibly win this game. Pyroclasm. Land. Ancestral Vision. Alright. Venerated Loxodon Land. Oh, no! Alright, well, it's the first time that's happened. We drew both armors. We're just going to go to the next game here. I'm not going to sit here for the next 10 minutes while they take every turn and make me feel bad about myself. There's no way we deal even close to damage, lethal damage before that Visions goes off. No, the deck's the deck definitely very, very finicky. I, I, I agree. I definitely agree. All right. Maybe the Loxodon's not great. I'm gonna bobble over Loxodon actually. I have too late. I guess Loxodon. Actually, never, I'm sorry. They're playing red removal, so Loxodon's actually good. We actually just can't draw a hand without drawing one of these. It's unbelievable. Like when I play like a Noble Hierarch deck, you know, you draw Noble Hierarch like every other game, and you're like, oh, cool. This, we're playing two armors. We draw it every single time. All right, we got a mulligan this. All right, 
Oh, boy. All right. Keep. Uh, yeah, party time. Why am I playing what card? First version, for sure. The, the more straightforward beatdown version seems to be best in my opinion. This deck is definitely way too gimmicky. Whoop. Alright. You all turned. There's, there's Scry was bottom, bottom. That's cool. Thalia. Now we just draw any message sent. Now we. Oh, they have exhaustion. I should have done that. Not that they can cast it next turn, but. Um. Any creature next turn. Uh, that's a juke. Creature, please. One or zero mana. Damn it. Still fine. The cannon has then Thalia in play. I doubt they can do much next turn. So. Question is, what do I go after next turn? A land or a thing in the ice? Probably a land, right? Yeah, definitely land. So if you're asking what the quest card does, I will tell you. Remove five counters from it, put an equipment into play for free, and equip it for free. We're gonna take that, we're gonna put it on probably the the Thalia, so they can't kill it, they can't bolt it. Yeah, definitely Thalia. Put it on the Thalia, attack skis, destroy the land skis, and that's gotta be the game. All right, they're also at nine. So nine, two lands, a Thalia and a Canonist in play and an armor. Some combination of maybe like Giga Drows or something could maybe do something. Punking them out. If you want to punk some people in modern, this is the way to do it. All right. So we went 3-2 with every deck, but I think that this was a another soft 3-2 uh, where you could maybe try it again, not playing Bobble and Frogmite, um, maybe Core Sky Fisher. I'm just worried there aren't enough artifacts in the deck at that point, but you can also just play more of the, um, like in the beatdown version, this is my favorite version so far. It didn't look exactly like this. We were playing um, some other stuff, but Legion's Landing, Toolcraft Exemplar, Copter. These cards don't work with the with the the quest card, but Leonard Arbor is pretty sweet with, with Ghost Quarters. I think this is the best version so far. I want to work on this more, but Chalice version was playing Chalice of the Void. If you missed these ones, they'll be on YouTube. Go look for them. Uh, Chalice is too awkward, I think. Um, Chalice wasn't even that good, and it made our it made our mana curve so bad. But um. But yeah, so definitely a fun FNM glass cannon deck, but it would need a lot more work to be uh, something else. But so that's going to do it. We have, we have lasagna to make. So if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you follow the channel. I'll see you guys soon. Look for the other decks in other videos if you haven't seen them yet. And um, follow the channel. I'll see you guys later. Bye, YouTube.